The president of the UNGA, Abdullah Shahid, who was in Bangkok briefly to mark the 75th anniversary of the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, or ESCAP, shared with Thai PBS World what needs to be done to push sustainable post-pandemic economic recovery. Coming from the Maldives, which is a tourism-reliant country like Thailand, he emphasized the need for greater provision of assistance to developing countries. When the globe shuts down, the tourism industry that is worst hit and that uh, made many countries including my own country from a middle income country to a no income country and that is how challenging it was for the small countries and the developing countries to revive we need uh, substantial assistance and that suspension initiative itself is not enough uh, over 554 a billion uh, SDRs issued and uh, only 5.5 billion has been made available to the uh, developing countries. There needs to be more equal opportunity uh, for developing countries. Uh, without access to finance, uh, developing countries, we would never be able to catch up the impact that COVID-19 pandemic and now crisis in Ukraine is having on these countries can only be overcome by uh, specific measures targeted to assist them. And that is not happening. Uh, rather, it is always uh, the developed countries who get the more opportunities. Highlighting interconnectivity and the importance of international cooperation, Mr. Shahid said Thailand has been on the right track in sustainable post-pandemic recovery. One thing we have learned during this pandemic is that no country will be able to survive by its own. That uh, no one is safe until everyone is safe. And Thai government has been in the forefront of assisting other countries. It did assist uh, the Maldives, for example. So it is uh, on the right track in recovery because uh, I believe Thai government recognizes the fact that uh, it is not only about Thailand, but it is with the rest of the world as well. So what you have, you share. What you don't, you obtain from others. On the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, which has seen thousands killed, sent millions fleeing and disrupted the global economy, Mr. Abdullah Elish peace negotiations while remaining hopeful for an improvement in the situation. We need a peaceful, negotiated solution as early as possible. Uh, we need to make sure that all of us, each and every country, respects a rules-based international order. The threat does not li limit itself to international peace and security. It uh, spreads uh, the effects of the war uh, into uh, food security, into energy security, uh, financial uh, security. So, uh, such a situation is detrimental uh, to everyone. I advocated for a presidency of hope because I'm an optimist and I want to bring that element of hope to a hopeless situation. That is a message I have uh, requested world leaders uh, to convey. And uh, I'm happy to know that uh, the message of hope is being heard in many parts of the world. Acknowledging the limitations of the UN's roles in ensuring peace and security, as it is only an intergovernmental body, not a supranational one, and several UN resolutions are non-binding, Mr. Shahid believes the system can still improve. Hatay Deshagiturinan reporting for Thai PBS World.